Africa produced a total of 19 billionaires, all worth $81.5 billion, down from $84.9 billion a year ago. Many of these tycoons make the most of their income from controlling major industries and sectors in their own country. This list focuses on the top 10 only, with their net worth calculated using stock prices and local currency rates. At number 10, we have Mohamed Mansour. Mohamed Mansour is an Egyptian billionaire who oversees his family conglomerate, Mansour Group. It was founded by his father in 1952. The company employs over 16,000 people. Mohamed Mansour established General Motors dealerships in Egypt in 1975, later becoming one of GM's biggest distributors worldwide. His company also has an exclusive distribution right for Caterpillar equipment in Egypt and several other African countries. Mohamed Mansour, who has both Egyptian and UK citizenship, served as Egypt's Minister of Transportation from 2006 to 2009 under the Onsi Mubarak regime. He is 75 years old and has a net worth of $2.8 billion. At number 9, we have Patrice Motsepe. Patrice Motsepe is the founder and chairman of African Rainbow Minerals. He became a billionaire in 2008 and the first black African on the Forbes list. In 2016, he launched a private equity firm, African Rainbow Capital, focused on investing in Africa. Motsepe also has a stake in Salam, a listed financial services firm, and is the president and owner of the Mamlodi Sundowns Football Club. In 2021, he became president of the Confederation of African Football, the sports governing body on the continent. He makes most of his money from mining, is worth $3.1 billion and is 61 years of age, making him the youngest billionaire on the list. He is the fourth richest man in South Africa and the ninth on the continent. At number 8, we have Nagub Sawiris. Nabgoop Sawiris is an Egyptian billionaire and businessman. He is the chairman of Weather Investment Parent Company, former chairman and CEO of Orascom Telecom Holdings. Orascom is Egypt's largest private sector employer. He built a fortune in telecom, selling Orascom Telecom in 2011 to a Russian telecom firm called Vion in a multi billionaire transaction. He is chairman of Orascom TMT Investment, which has stakes in an asset manager in Egypt an Italian internet company known as Intalia Online among others. Through his media globe holdings, Sawiris owns 88% of pan-European paid TV and video news network called Euronews. He is worth $3.3 billion and is 68 years of age. At number 7, we have Isad Rebra. Rebra is the founder of Servital, Algeria's biggest privately held company which operates one of the largest sugar refineries in the world with the capacity to produce 2 million tons a year, including French home appliances maker Group Branded, an Italian steel mill and a German water purification company. His net worth dropped from $5.1 billion in 2022 to $4.6 billion in 2023. He is 79 years old, the richest in Algeria and the seventh richest in Africa. On number 6, we have Mike Adenuga. Mike Adenuga is Nigeria's third richest man and assist in Africa. He built his fortune in telecom and oil production. He founded Globalcom, the third largest mobile telecom operator in Nigeria, with 55 million subscribers. He also founded an oil exploration company, which operates six oil blocks in the Niger Delta. Adenuga had a fairly humble beginning. He got an MBA in Pace University in New York, supporting himself as a student by working as a taxi driver. He made his first million at age 26, selling lace and distributing soft drinks. His current net worth is $5.6 billion, which is a significant drop from records of last year, which is $6.7 billion. He is 69 years of age. Nasser Sawiris Nasser Sawiris is a wealthy investor from Egypt. His valuable asset is a nearly 6% stake in sportswear maker Adidas. In December 2020, he acquired a 5% stake in New York-listed firm 
Madison Square Garden Sports, owners of the NBA Knicks and the NHL Rangers team. It runs OCI, one of the world's largest nitrogen fertilizer producers, with plants in Texas and Iowa. Its holdings include stakes in cement giant Lafarge and Adidas. He also sits on the supervisory board of Adidas. Nasser Sawiri is teamed up with Fortress Investment Group, West Edens, to purchase the Premier League's Aston Villa Football Club. He is worth $7.2 billion, a little less than his 2022 net worth, which is $8.6 billion. He is 62 years old and the richest Egyptian alive. Number 4. We have Abdul Samad Rabiu. Abdul Samad Rabiu is a wealthy Nigerian businessman and founder of Boa Group, a Nigerian conglomerate active in cement production, sugar refining, and real estate. He began his own business in 1988, importing iron, steel, and chemicals. He makes most of his money from Boa Cement PLC, where he owns 98.2% stakes. The company operates two large cement plants in Nigeria. His business is diversified into multiple sectors such as edible oil, real estate, cement, sugar and flour. He is 62 years old and worth over $7.6 billion, a major increase from $7 billion which was recorded last year. On number 3, we have Nikki Ofehima. Nikki Hofehima is a South African billionaire worth over $8.7 billion. At age 77, he is the third richest in Africa. He made so much money from hair to the bear's diamond fortune. He sold 40% of the firm to mining group Anglo American for $5.1 billion in cash in 2012. He is the third generation of his family to run the bears. He owns Fireblade Aviation in Johannesburg which provides chartered flight services. He also owns large pieces of conservation lands, at least 720 square miles across South Africa, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and Mozambique. Second on the list is Johan Rupert. Johan Rupert is a 72-year-old South African business mogul worth about $10.7 billion. He is the chairman of Swiss luxury group Richmond. He oversees an elite portfolio of luxury brands and fashion labels. He established jewelry and watch brands such as Van Cleef and Apples, Vacheron Constantine and Katia. He owns 7% in a firm called Remgro, which he chairs, as well as 26% of Renet, an investment holding company based in Luxembourg. He is the second richest man in Africa and the richest in South Africa. The first on the list is Aliko Dangote. He has been Africa's richest man for over 12 years in a row. He is 65 years old and worth over $13.5 billion, which is $400 million less than previous year. He makes the most of his billion from Dangote Cement, where he owns 85% stakes. He is the president and founder of Dangote Groups, a Nigerian lady manufacturing company with operations in over 10 African countries and multiple subsidiaries. His business is diversified into different sectors, including cement, sugar, fertilizer, salt, oil refining, and petrochemicals. His cement company is the largest in Africa, with over 51 metric tons per annum in stored capacity. He is currently building the world's largest single train refinery in Nigeria, which is over 80% completed. He currently runs Africa's largest cement plants in Obajana and Africa's largest fertilizer plant in Lagos. The world's second largest sugar refinery is also owned by Aliku Dangote and is located in Apapa, Lagos.